Good afternoon. England's women are through to the semi-final of the World Cup. They beat Colombia 2-1 in a tense match in Sydney. Chris Scudder, watch the action. <laughs> But England's fans were outnumbered and they were up against a Colombian team who put their bodies on the line to keep the favourites out. Emotions were running high, especially when the South Americans took the lead. Mary Earps caught out by a chip, or was it a cross? Cue mayhem. England are behind. But in a World Cup where the goalkeepers have excelled, this was an exception. And a howler at the other end allowed Lauren Hemp to equalise. That settled the nerves and one moment of magic from Alessia Russo did the rest. Russo! Mary Earps redeemed her earlier mistake with a crucial save. Oh, she had a goal! And England were through to the semis, where hosts Australia will be waiting. Chris Scudder, ITV News. Well, our sports editor Steve Scott has just sent this update from Sydney. All this week, the Lionesses have been saying they have got more to give. Did they deliver that tonight? Well, in the end, it doesn't really matter. A better way of looking at it is since they've been here, they've won five games out of five. And now they're in a World Cup semi-final, their third successive World Cup semi-final. And when you think how they were obliterated by injuries to key players before this tournament, how their best player, probably their most inspirational player in this tournament to date, Lauren James, was banned, it just shows what resilience there is uh, in this team. Now they've got a blockbuster game against the host nation, Australia, and they will probably be physically and emotionally exhausted after an extraordinary game and penalty shootout earlier on today. In addition to that, they're playing in front of a home crowd and that adds pressure. It's going to be one hell of an evening. Steve Scott in Sydney there. In other news, six people have died and around 50 others were rescued after a small migrant boat sank in the channel. Ten people were rescued and brought back to Dover. The search and rescue operation off Sangat involved both British and French ships. There's more on all today's news stories on our streaming service, ITVX. The evening news is at five past six. Bye-bye.